How about them biscuits? Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm bringing you a super cozy crock pot meal that is just a crock pot version of a classic cozy warm dish and you're gonna love it. It's chicken pot pie. I'll be sure to link the recipe down below. It's from the All Recipes website and I'm cutting this recipe in half just because it makes a lot. Again, it's one of those recipes where you just prep everything and then dump it right into your crock pot, set it and forget it. It's my favorite kind, super easy, and then you're good to go when you get home and you're ready to eat. So I'm going to get started with my veggies first. This recipe has us using potatoes. I'm gonna leave the potatoes out. That's just my personal preference today. And then we have carrots and celery, and the recipe doesn't call for onion, but I like to have onion in my chicken pot pie, so we're gonna add that in. And our recipe calls for one cup of chopped celery. So I'm just guessing that one stick is gonna be about half. Give or take a half a cup. I think that might be less, but that's okay. If you want more celery, go ahead and add more celery. And then the recipe calls for eight ounces of baby carrots. So they just have you putting the baby carrots in whole, but I'm just gonna cut everything up a little bit smaller because I like, I prefer my carrot pieces cut up small. But if you want just whole baby carrots, go ahead and do that. It'll also save you some time. Perfect. I'd, I'd say that was about even to a little bit more than how much celery I used. Again, it's totally preference. Just your veggies bring a lot of flavor to the game. So if you don't really care for the flavor of celery, put in a little or none at all. Same with the carrots. I know some people don't care for cooked carrots. You could leave them out completely if you wanted. I really don't want you to leave out the onion though. <laughs> but. I'm not gonna stop you if you decide to leave it out. I think I'm gonna go with about a half of a medium onion. That looks good to me. Lastly, our chicken, well, I shouldn't say lastly, the last thing we need to cut up is our chicken. So our recipe calls for two large chicken breasts. So I guess it's up to preference. If you like a really meaty chicken pot pie, put in as much chicken as you want or as little chicken as you want. I'm using chicken thighs. I just prefer chicken thighs. They're a little fattier. I like that the fat brings a little more flavor to them, but whatever you want, whatever you have, Whatever's the cheapest at the grocery store. Chicken thighs do tend to be cheaper than chicken breasts. I think I'm gonna go with two or three chicken thighs. I think I'll do three. That's a really healthy amount of chicken, I think. And I'm gonna trim off some of the fat. You don't have to if you don't want to. You can cut up the chicken as big or as small as you want. The recipe says to cut your chicken into cubes. So, it doesn't say how big. All right, I think three chicken thighs is perfect for me. I'm just gonna plop that into our crock pot as well. And with your leftover chicken, if you don't have anything right now that you plan to use it for, what I like to do is just 
Season it with some salt and pepper, cook it up in the frying pan or in the oven, and then once it's um, cooked, cube it up and let it cool off and put it in a freezer safe container and pop it in the freezer. And then the next time you need chicken for a dish or you want chicken for something, you can just put it in the fridge the night before or you can defrost it in the microwave or let it set in some water in your sink for a little while to get it to thaw out. And then you have cooked chicken and you don't have to go through the rigmarole of cooking it. It's already cooked, ready to go. And that way your chicken doesn't spoil before you use it. One last ingredient that the recipe doesn't call for but I'm going to add is a clove of garlic. Now you can dice it up just for sake of time. I'm going to crush it and then get the skin off and then just plop it right into the crock pot. There it is, and in we go. All right. So here is what we have in our crock pot so far. Again, we have our celery, our carrots, our onion, our chicken, and our garlic. All right, so to our chicken and veg, we're going to add one can of cream of chicken soup. I have it unsalted, it doesn't have to be unsalted. And it just all goes right in there. We need three cubes of chicken bouillon. I don't have the cubed kind, I just have the container of loose chicken bouillon powder. But the cap says two teaspoons of broth base for one cup of broth for what I'm using. So one cube usually goes in one cup of hot water to dissolve. So six, I need six teaspoons. This is partially why I went with the unsalted cream of chicken soup because your chicken broth or your chicken bouillon is quite salty and I'd rather be where I want to add a little bit of salt than it being too salty. There we go, we have our chicken bouillon, two teaspoons of garlic salt. I know we added garlic, but I mean, I don't think you can have too much. Oh, one teaspoon. Forgot, we're cutting this recipe in half. One teaspoon of garlic salt. Again, the salt content. But chicken needs that. Chicken is chicken is like a blank slate. It needs the salt, so that's okay. And then the recipe calls for a teaspoon of celery salt, so we would add a half teaspoon of celery salt. Now, my normal chicken pot pie recipe uses thyme, so today I'm going to be subbing in a half teaspoon of thyme in place of the celery salt. Actually, I'm only gonna use a quarter teaspoon. I have dried thyme, so a quarter teaspoon should be all we need. It's pretty potent. And lastly, for our seasoning, we're going to add one and a half teaspoons of black pepper. That seems like quite a bit to me, but you can always use less. Again, same with the salt. You can always add more later. So I'm just gonna go with one teaspoon of, of pepper. We'll add more later if we want it. All right, here is where we're at with what's in our crock pot. We have chicken, veg, cream soup, and seasoning. And one last ingredient we have, we're going to add eight ounces of mixed veggies. Now, I don't particularly care for green beans in my chicken pot pie, and we already added carrots, so I have some remnants of bags of frozen peas and frozen corn. And in total, I think it'll be about two cups. I might not have two cups worth, but I'm just gonna use what I have. Sometimes I'm just a scrappy cook. And sometimes that's okay. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more corn. We didn't get a whole lot in there. Again, if you don't like peas, we Throwing things. Again, if you don't like peas, you don't have to add them. No one's making you. All right. We have all of our ingredients into our crock pot liner. Now just give it a good stir. 
get everything all incorporated. So the veg and the chicken will be pretty easy to mix together. The cream of chicken soup, I think, is what you really want to coat everything and you want to get all of those spices and seasonings well incorporated, well distributed among everything else. I think we have it. So this is what mine looks like. And now we're going to stick it in our crock pot and it's gonna go on high for five hours. So in we go. Lid on. On high. We'll let it go for five hours. Now, if you're gonna be gone all day, what you could do is, when you put this in in the morning, set it on low. So if you're gonna be gone for eight to 10 hours, I think you would be just fine setting it on low in the morning and then it'll be good to go when you get home in the evening. Now some of you might be asking, hey, this is chicken pot pie, where's the where's the pie part? Where's the pie crust? Where's the where's the bread part? Well, don't worry. We are going to do as the recipe suggests and serve it over some golden brown, warm and fluffy, split open biscuits. So don't fret. It's going to be delicious. All right, it's been five hours. Let's take a look. Look at that. I can tell you this much. It smells wonderful. It was cooking away and it just smelled so good. I couldn't wait for it to be done. So I've turned our crock pot down to warm. The chicken is cooked and now we're going to prepare our biscuits. So I'm just going to parchment a cookie sheet. I like my easy cleanup. And we'll open up our biscuits. And we're just going to cook them according to the directions. So these bake at 350 for 13 to 17 minutes. Another disappointing rule. How about them biscuits? All right, we are going to take one of our buttery flaky biscuits that is piping hot out of the oven and split her open. When you're ready, you can just turn your crock pot off and we're gonna dish ourselves up a nice, healthy, healthy serving of crock pot chicken pot pie. Look at that. Super hearty meal. Who wouldn't want to come home after a long day and tuck into this? And I'm not even going to talk about it anymore. I'm just going to tuck right in and tell you how warm and delicious and cozy this meal is. That is lovely. I'm really glad I only stuck to one teaspoon of black pepper. It's got a spice to it. Chop it up, dump it all in your crock pot, set it and forget it, come home to a warm, delicious, hearty meal. I don't have anything more to say about it. I'll pop the recipe down below for you guys. Go check it out for yourself. Let me know how you like it. Let me know if you would do something differently or what you do do differently. 
If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from me, hit that subscribe button and that bell so you know when I drop the next video. And go have fun, guys. I'll see you next time.